Andrew, Katrina, Sandy, these are memorable names that immediately conjure up images of destruction. But how exactly does a storm get a name? In 1953, forecasters in the U.S. began the practice of naming storms. Eventually, the World Meteorological Organization assumed this responsibility and established six rotating lists of names. Each list contains a name for each letter of the alphabet, except for Q, U, X, Y, and Z. Originally, Hi. all these names were female, but in 1979, male names were added. Hello. Now each list alternates between a male and female name. A storm is given a name when sustained winds around an organized tropical or a subtropical low pressure system reach at least 39 miles per hour. And if a storm is so deadly or so costly that the future use of its name on a different storm would be insensitive, that storm is retired and a new name is added to the list. Only 80 storms so far have earned this notorious distinction. And let's hope that we don't have to add another one this hurricane season.